going to see this incredible eruption, almost an atom bomb that's going off. And it's the size of Alaska, this thing. So it's just going to be like a wall, an enormous wall that goes up. And instead of going up 10 miles or so, we're talking 30 miles and just towering up overhead. Now Tim wants to compare Jupiter's lightning with Earth's. No one knows lightning like a T-28 pilot. Uh, this thing can get hit by lightning. Yes, in fact, uh, we've... Charlie Summers shows him the damage. ...strikes that have hit the aircraft. What does that look like? Can we see? Yeah, let's take a look back here. Usually the lightning, when it strikes the aircraft, doesn't leave any damage, but usually we get an exit. Like... Uh, oh, interesting. This is an exit where the lightning actually came out. Now, it's not that uh, even when it happens, but I usually smooth them out a little bit just... So that's like a thumb's width, if that's a typical yeah, size? Yeah, and that's, that's a pretty heavy lightning bolt that is burned as it comes out. And the aircraft's been hit... Oh, oh yeah, there's chips all down here. Yeah, and then there's bigger... These nightmare thunderstorms are small fry, providing energy for something far more terrifying. Energy to feed a storm twice the size of the Earth energy that's kept it churning for more than 300 years. Energy that powers the great red spot.